Hey folks, welcome back to The Hearing Club. My name's Brian and today we're gonna to be talking about something I've been wanting to get off my chest and talk about for so long because it is absolutely ridiculous. People are still, to this day, paying three, four, five, six thousand, up to ten thousand dollars for hearing aids and it is absolutely insane. Now my goal is to be able to help people, help anybody I can hear better, understand their loved ones better, be able to communicate with their spouses better and do this without paying astronomical prices that really nobody can afford. Um, the government's still working on getting us some better insurance and Medicare options for hearing aids. And for the meantime, you guys have a couple of really, really good options, especially with these new over-the-counter hearing aids that you can purchase. But that is not the only option we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be talking about where you can get prescription hearing aids for under $1,600 for the set. And then we're also gonna talk a little bit about the over-the-counter hearing aids. And if you wanna get more detail about those, I have a video where I did a, you know, I actually ordered a pair did a review on them. There are $300 and the next set is on its way. We're going to be going over the Jabra $799 set of programmable over-the-counter hearing aids. But today let's talk about other options for buying hearing aids so you don't have to pay these astronomical prices. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys find these videos helpful and let's get right into it. Now, for any of you that don't know, in the middle of October, the FDA went ahead and approved the sale of over-the-counter hearing aids. And now you can actually get those online and they're going to be popping up in different like electronic retail stores and places like that. Now, I ordered a set just to kind of see what they were like because I'm a licensed hearing instrument specialist in the state of Pennsylvania. And I really wanted to see the quality if you're able to program them. You know, I have all the same questions that you guys have. Now, if you want to check out the first set of hearing aids that I've checked out so far and ordered and tried out, I explain everything. They're called the Go Prime over-the-counter hearing aids, and I got these from Best Buy. Now, uh, I go into really, really good detail on these hearing aids, how to use them, uh, what you can do with them. So be sure to check out that video. And that video is going to be in the description and you can also click on it at the end of this video. Now, the next hearing aids that are already on their way are the Jabra, more expensive over-the-counter hearing aids. Now, the reason I ordered the Jabra hearing aids are because these are more expensive hearing aids. The ones I got were really cheap. Uh, well, not really cheap, $300, but they were all definitely on the cheaper end of the hearing aid spectrum. And I wanted to try these more expensive ones out, but the main thing that really attracted me to these hearing aids are the fact that they are programmable. So if you know what kind of hearing loss you have, or you have a prescription, or you have a hearing test or an audiogram from your audiologist or from your hearing instrument specialist, you may be able to program these. And I'm gonna find out how in depth we can really get with these hearing aids and the program. Do the hearing aids come with an app? Do they actually come with fitting software like we use in the office? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. They don't work for you if you don't like them. I've already returned them and the return process was so easy. I just brought them to the actual Best Buy location. They didn't even open the box to see if the hearing aids were in there. They just said, here you go, here's your money back. It was, it couldn't be easier. Another great thing about the Hearing Club channel that you're watching right now is I actually have videos on how to do your own online hearing tests, how to actually get an audiogram online so that you're able to program your own hearing aids. And I also show you how to read an audiogram and how to tell what kind of hearing loss you have, et cetera, et cetera. So check those out. Now, other than the over-the-counter option, which I only suggest if you have a mild hearing loss, I think the best way to improve your hearing if you have a hearing loss is by getting a prescription set of hearing aids and having them programmed by a professional or an audiologist. It doesn't get any better than that. And I'm going to show you guys where you can get $10,000 hearing aids for just $1,600. It is not a joke. It is 100% legitimate. And that, my friends, is by going to Costco and getting yourself a membership. But before we get into the Costco hearing aids, we're gonna talk a little bit about my background. 
I started at Belltone and when we did a hearing test for a patient and they had hearing loss, we would make recommendations just like any other hearing care provider you would go to. Now, the reason I'm bringing all this up is because the Belltone hearing aids are made and manufactured by a company called GN and GN manufactures Belltone hearing aids, Resound hearing aids, and Jabra hearing aids. And you guessed it. Costco carries the Jabra hearing aids and they are the same exact thing as the Belltone hearing aids. Instead of saying Belltone on the side, they say Jabra. And when I worked at Belltone, we sold these for the cheapest $6,000 for a set and the most expensive, the premium version were $10,000 for a set. And that's the whole point of this video, folks. Costco carries the same hearing aids at a fraction of the cost and only the premium quality ones. And they also carry Rexton hearing aids, which are miracle ear hearing aids. Again, instead of paying $8,000, you're paying $1,600 for the Rexton version. And now we're going to get into the details of exactly what I'm talking about. At Belltone, after your hearing test is over and we make a recommendation, what we would do is we would give you the patient three different options, sometimes two different options. The way I was taught is we would give you a good option, a better option, and then the best option. The good option would be the Belltone Amaze or the Belltone Imagine 6. The better option would be the Belltone Amaze or Belltone Imagine 9. And then the best option, the premium flagship hearing aid, would be the Belltone Amaze or Belltone Imagine 17. 17 channels, all the bells and whistles, all the advanced features, etc., etc. And those prices would start at per hearing aid, the MSRP or the manufacturer suggested retail price for the sixes, the bottom of the barrel would be $3,200 a piece. And yes, we did sell hearing aids for that much. That folks is a total of $6,400 for the bottom tier. The next tier up, the nines, the middle of the road hearing aid, the better option would start at $4,000, giving us a grand total of $8,000 for the set. If you're one of those folks that had to have the best of the best and you wanted the premium flagship hearing aid, you would pay $5,200 per hearing aid, giving us a grand total of 10,000. Now let's take a look at Miracle Ear because Belltone's not the only one. Miracle Ear does the same exact thing. I've gone to a Miracle Ear, I've gone to Costco, and this is all absolutely current, legitimate, solid information. And one thing I've noticed about both of these websites is there is no information on these hearing aids. Everywhere I go to try to get details and it just sends me to a, a link where I have to set up an appointment. And you'll notice if you call a Miracle Ear place or you call a Belltone place and ask for prices on their hearing aids, they won't give them to you. Absolutely not. They say, oh, well, it depends on your hearing loss. We really don't like to give prices. Come down for a free hearing test. And that's how they get you in. But if you call Costco and ask what their hearing aids cost, they'll give you the price right over the phone. I try to view the different products. I try to get a list of all the different hearing aids they have. And it just, it doesn't work. The website doesn't work. I just, I can't find any information. Yes, they have long lasting batteries. Yes, you can stay connected, but where are the different hearing aids that they have? All that I can do is just schedule an appointment, but I'm not actually able to see the different hearing aids. And that is exactly why I went down to Miracle Ear to see which hearing aids they have. Now, as you can see, well, that's probably the, the only picture that I could find that shows all their different hearing aids. So we're just gonna do a Google search and we're gonna go by images and there you go. There is the Miracle Ear hearing aid. These are made by a company called Savantos. And Savantos manufactures Miracle Ear hearing aids, True Hearing hearing aids, Signia, and Rexton. And you guessed it, Rexton's are sold at Costco for a fraction of the price. $800 per hearing aid. And again, Costco only carries the premium technology. They don't carry the middle of the road. They don't carry the basic. They only carry the premium. And when I went to Miracle Ear, I was quoted, are you ready for it? $11,000 for a set of premium Miracle Ear hearing aids. And this is the entire point of this video. 
Stop doing that. You can get the same exact hearing aids at Costco. They're the Rexton Bicors. You can get the same bell tone hearing aids at Costco. They are the Jabra Enhanced Pros. You don't have to worry about, should I get the middle of the road? Should I get the basic? Should I get the premium? Because Costco only carries the premium version of the hearing aids. It is absolutely insane. And I don't want anybody wasting any more money on hearing aids that you can get for a fraction of the price. You see that right there? That right there is the same thing as the Rexton Bicor with the portable charger that has a built-in battery. I am your hearing aid whistleblower. You're welcome, folks. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're not gonna go into too much detail about these hearing aids. We will definitely, and you can count on it, we're gonna be doing detailed reviews and we're gonna go over the features, the prices, everything of the Rexton Bicors, the Philips Hearlink, and the Jabra Enhanced Pros. Do those look familiar? They should because these are the same as the Belltone hearing aids. But just really quick, we're going to go over, you know, some of the Costco information just so you guys know. And then we'll go ahead and finish up the video. In order to get these hearing aids and in order to get a hearing test, you do have to be a member of Costco. It's going to cost you $60 a year or you can pay $120 for the year and get the executive membership, which gives you a couple of other bonuses and perks. And folks, that comes to $5 a month for the Gold Star membership. That is less than you would pay for a pack of wax guards monthly from a private practice or from Belltone anyway. I'm not sure if Miracle Ear charges you for extra wax guards, but I know we did when I used to work for Belltone. But that should give you an idea and, and kind of put things into perspective. Now, speaking of wax guards, you actually get those free if you have Costco hearing aids. So now we're going to go over quickly the different hearing aids and why you shouldn't spend six to $10,000 on the same hearing aids that you can get at Costco. And in future videos, we'll probably go into more details about the benefits that Costco has as far as the warranties, the free supplies and all that stuff. But for now, we're just going to focus on the hearing aids and wrap up the video. Now it's a toss up which ones I really like better between the Rexton Bicors or the Philips Hearlink. Now the Rexton hearing aids are made by Savantos. Again, those that's the company that manufactures Rexton, Signia, True Hearing, and the Miracle Ear hearing aids. So these are the Miracle Ear equivalents, but for a fraction of the price, these are $800 a piece. Now what I like about the Rexton Bicors are the artificial intelligence. The artificial intelligence is built into the hearing aids and it is also built into the app called the Rexton app. And I made a video on the Rexton app. I think it's one of the most powerful hearing aid apps right now. And it is just amazing what you can do with this. You could change the directionality of the microphones. It has a equalizer where you can add more high frequency sound or low frequency sound. And it can also make permanent adjustments to your hearing aids without going into the office. For example, if you're wearing your hearing aids and you're at home and every time the air conditioner or the heater turns on and it's just super loud and driving you crazy, you can go into the app using the Rexton Assist and tell the app that your hearing aids are picking up too much of that sound and it will actually do what it can with the artificial intelligence and reduce the volume of those frequencies so that you don't hear those low humming noises as much. And you have the option to either keep that adjustment, revert back to the way it was before you made the adjustment, or you can improve upon that adjustment. So again, for more information, check out the video. It is amazing. The other nice thing is that you get this portable charger. Now this is going to be plugged in most of the time to charge your hearing aids, but if you're in a hurry or you fall asleep with the hearing aids and you wake up and they're dead, you can just on your way to work. Or if you're going somewhere important, you can just take the charger with you without the cable, put your hearing aids in the charger and it will actually charge your hearing aids on the go. And I believe they can charge the hearing aids two to three times without ever being plugged in before the battery in the charger dies. The other hearing aids that they carry are the Philips Hearlink. Now the Philips Hearlink are made by a company called DeMont. I think that's how you pronounce it. And DeMont is one of the largest hearing aid manufacturers in the world. They make Oticon, they make Bernafon, and they make Philips. And the Philips Hearlink hearing aids that you can buy at Costco are equivalent to the Oticon more. 
Now, a couple of the differences between the Philips Here Link and the Oticon More, they're not identical. Now, the reason I say the Philips Here Link are the equivalent to the Oticon More is because they're both manufactured by the same company. They use the same charger. They use the same housing, the same design, the same receivers, which is the speaker and the wire, the same domes, but they have different software. They both have artificial intelligence, but the artificial intelligence between the Oticon More and the Philips Here Link are slightly different. The Philips Here Link uses what they call the sound map technology, and the Oticon More uses the deep neural network or the DNN. And you could find all this information on this website that I'm going to include in the description of the video. If you want to read and check it out, there's a lot of great information in here that kind of explains the differences between the Hearlink 9030 and the Oticon More. So I would highly suggest you check it out. And when it's time for us to do the review on the Philips Hearlink, I will have all the information for you down to the nitty gritty, but they are both amazing hearing aids. I really like the Philips Hearlink. Now the other difference between the Oticon More and the Philips Hearlink are the app. This is where the Philips Hearlink kind of fall short, I would say, but there's hope for the future because they continue to make updates to the app. Now the Oticon More app has a lot more features than the Philips Hearlink app, but just recently the Philips Hearlink app release an update that now allows you to accept and hang up phone calls just by using the buttons. You don't even have to take your phone out of your pocket. And before that was not available. So I'm really confident that they're going to keep doing more updates on the app. Other than that, <laughs> which is, a, I guess, kind of a lot, they're pretty much the same. Now I have the sound map technology, and this is one of those things that we're going to be going into detail when we do the Philips Hearlink review, the full review. And we're also going to go over the deep neural network with the Oticon side of things. Now the deep neural network, basically it's a, it's a way of machine learning. It's, it's how they, the same technology that they use at UCLA to detect cancer cells, a AI software was able to detect cancer cells in a patient. So the information and the technology is out there. I just don't have time to get it all done in this video, but rest assured it will be coming. The third brand that they carry at Costco are of course, the Jobber hearing aids, which are made by GN, just like the Resound and Belltone hearing aids. They are the same hearing aids. They just say Jobber on the side instead of Belltone. And you know, I know all about the Belltone hearing aids. I know all about the Resound hearing aids. And it, you know, this is just my opinion. I just don't really like them as much as the Rexton and the Philips hearing aids. But you know, there are people that still want the Resound hearing aids. So if you are somebody that likes the Belltone hearing aids, but you don't want to pay three, four, five thousand dollars per hearing aid, go to Costco, grab the Jabra Enhanced Pros. They're the same thing. So that's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys found this helpful and I can't wait to get into the nitty gritty and the details of all three of these different hearing aids that are offered at Costco for a fraction of the price. You can get them elsewhere. That's going to be the end of the video. And now I'm going to go make a video on the community questions that we got. Remember how I said we're going to answer some of your guys' questions that you leave in the comments. Well, be sure to check out that video because I'm going to be working on it right now. Have a great day, everybody, and let's get hearing.